Tonight, first, though, the hunt for a mall shooter on the biggest shopping weekend of the year. Police still looking for a motive in the Black Friday crime after two young men were gunned down at Arden Fair Mall. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Marley Ginter. CBS 13's Heather Jansen is live at the mall, which is actually back to business as usual tonight, Heather. Yeah, Marley, less than 24 hours, and you wouldn't even know that a deadly shooting happened just hours ago. Doors are open, and people are back to shopping inside. But with no one arrested at this point, for some shoppers, there was a little hesitation about returning so soon. Coming to a mall, shooting somebody in the mall, we got a lot of kids and parents and grandmas. They didn't think about the consideration of everybody else. Marcus Ross, one of several customers making their way back to Arden Fair on Saturday. After only one day prior, two young men, ages 17 and 19, were shot and killed inside, and still no one caught. The mall quickly turning from a haven for shoppers into havoc on Black Friday. Though Sacramento police call this an isolated incident and not an active shooter investigation. Still, for Marcus, it was surprising to be able to head back through the doors so soon. Pick up and keep going where you left off at, I guess, but usually stuff closed for at least a day or two. Arden Fair back open at 10 in the morning and back to business as usual for a big holiday shopping weekend. Shoppers like Liam Healy didn't hesitate about returning, feeling safe as he heads inside. I know usually these kind of things don't happen two days in a row, you know. At least he says he hopes, but with police having no known motive and no known suspects, there's still a level of uncertainty for other customers. Though to Marcus, crime at Arden isn't a shock. I mean, this ain't the first time something like this happened at Arden Mall, so people that, that like I say, they don't care where they at. At this point, we still don't know who the two young men were that were killed last night, but in a statement tonight, a spokesperson for the Arden Fair Mall did express their condolences to the family after a tragedy happened just inside their doors.